Hey, Ano here. Welcome to my How I Animate tutorial. Some of you guys requested to see how I managed to animate Hero smoothly in my last video. This video will take you guys through my workflow. First thing first, I make sure that my brush size is set to 30 and the minimum size to 15. It gives limbs a really nice look. Then I start drawing those limbs. When it comes to the head, I try to make the nicest looking circle I can. Then I turn it into a symbol by right-clicking on the head and selecting Convert to Symbol. I fix the position and now we can start animating. I start by creating a new keyframe to draw the next pose. Just like I did, you can right-click anywhere on the timeline and select Convert to Blank Keyframe. And don't forget to turn on Onion Skin so you can see the previous and next frames of your animation, as well as Object Drawing Mode by pressing J. I forgot about it at first but please turn it on before drawing anything. I'm animating Hero getting excited and then hitting a little victory move thingy. Now, to end the pose, I add Hero's head by going to the library, where all the symbols go and I drag it into the scene. Then I add all the poses I want for now just like I did before. Once that's done, I separate the poses by pressing F5 after clicking on each frame. It gives us a good preview of the timing or at least something to begin with. It also allows me to place more frames between the poses for later while keeping the same timing. See? Good! Now, I'm going to start in betweening. In other words, drawing more frames between the poses to make the animation smooth. There is a principle of animation to follow here. It's called easing. It's basically the fact that a movement slows when it starts and ends. I have to keep that rule in mind when I make in-betweens. How I deal with that is that I start by drawing poses that are really close to the extremes of my movement. Then I check if it feels smooth enough. If it doesn't, I add an extra frame perfectly in the middle. A trick I learned is that I can achieve even smoother movements by simply duplicating frames and stretching them slightly. And since you can't even stretch symbols while you have normal objects selected, I just move the head a little bit in the same direction, keeping the shape consistent. I mostly use this trick at the beginning or the end of a movement. It tells the eye that the character stopped moving. One other thing that I like to do is moving the head or limbs in the opposite direction of the movement when speed peaks to mimic overlapping action which is another principle of animation. Now, I fix the timing by putting each frames one after another and then making some of them longer when the movement slows down. That's satisfying to me. Now, time to animate the actual victory move thing. I'm basically doing everything I explained before, but with different poses and some other differences. For example, the last part of the movement needs to have a bounce. So, I draw an extra frame before the last one that is way more exaggerated and I make it ease out into the final pose. I also added that middle frame I was talking about earlier to make the movement smoother. I made sure that it was drawn closer to the previous frame so it really gives that illusion of speed. Lastly, I make some extra easing out frames with that stretching trick from earlier to make the final movement feel like it's actually the last movement. Quick reminder, when doing easing in and out, you have to make poses gradually closer the closer you get to the extremes or else it can look weird. And with that, we got the final animation. Thank you guys for watching and for the amazing support on the channel. Hitting 2000 subscribers in 9 days is actual madness, and I'm so grateful for everything. The next episode of Animation vs Animator vs Animation is on its way. It might take weeks, but I'm figuring out me full workflow gradually. Plus, I'm learning multiple pipelines at a time. Anyway, have fun, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.